Yo, Betty Nation, I thought I'd do a quick video to show you today um, the Dobbs section on the racing, on the racing, on the betting guy. So, like I said, I want to do a video a day just really, really, really quickly. So, I've done my settings, I've done videos about that, loads of videos on YouTube. Um, so, and you're already on YouTube as we speak anyway. So, today, just one that automatically jumps out at me because of um, how it's been running so far and the previous. I mean, I love seeing all green. I've set my green to 60%. So anything in green means that, that it's decreased in price in running 60%. I mean, this is phenomenal. So let's have a look at it. She can boogie, just like my missus. She's listening. Actually, she's not. <laughs> oh, she's boogieing. <laughs> anyway, right, so 12 days since last run. The draw is 6, 78 official rating. Richard King's hurt. Tom Daskin uh, wins 1 from 6, 17% strike rate. Green has hit the green threshold 80% of the time. Hit the gold threshold 100% of the time. You can change all that in the settings. And it has dobbed 4 out of 5 times, which is an 80%. At the minute, we're talking around about 4.7 chance. So let's have a quick look. She can boogie. So... What I like to see is a comment in running. I love this section. I specifically asked the developers to make sure that this was implemented. And uh, yeah, we can see lead, ridden, and hidden, hidden, uh, and headed just over two farms out. Still there inside final fell and edge left, no impression on front two. It doesn't matter for us if it wins or loses. 2.96 bet fair SP only went down to a two. So it has to say this run is a little bit of a worry. This was its last run. However, I am probably trading this one because of the prices. I will not be going for a dob. I will be changing it up slightly because it's dobbed. Look how many times it's dobbed. It's dobbed five of its six lifetime runs. However, this time I'll probably be doing a £200 stake for around about a 30% profit. So I'll be looking for a £60 profit on this horse today. And uh, yeah, you can you can do it. You can. This just highlights potential in play trades and it's up to you what percentage profit you look for. Here we can see Betfair SP of 21. This is why the exchanges are so good. I mean, look at this 14s and Betfair SP was over 20s. It went down to a low of 1.41. Now, I would recommend that you don't just act just on this information alone. I mean, look, it went down to a two here. This, this one does concern me. It did reduce in price by 32%. But I want to know why. I want to know a bit greater detail than, than here. So I would literally go across here and I'll tell you what, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have a look at the replay while we're talking. Okay, bit of a technical issue then. So let's let's get back to looking at this replay. Okay, so we know the colours we're looking for. Here we go. And we are going to press replay. This is a free service. As long as you've got an account, you have a free service. So let's have a look at what happened. And there, are there he, she is. I presume she's a she. Ball. Because she can boogie, very fast away, lovely stride, jockey not having to do too much. So at this point, it's probably gone down to a two. So what happens here to make it not go down any further? Hmm. Ah, as you can see, I absolutely love watching the replays. I love it. So you can see that it's been worked on already. You can see it's in trouble. It's going far too fast and, and not got enough energy. So yeah. We, we knew it was in trouble, three felons from home, two and a half felons from home, so that's why it didn't decrease in price. So we've got to bear that in mind. We have to bear that in mind this time when we're actually looking at trading this horse. So that was in, that was at Haydock. Um, I'm just trying to think about, oh, with low, low, low battery. Right, I'm going to have to get going. So there's your idea. So we can see here that this horse, I was just trying to think about what sort of, um, I don't know um, how how far it's over. So it's running over five felons today, and uh, last time out it was over five uh, five felons as well. So we just got to bear that in mind, Betty Nation. We have to bear that in mind that the horse didn't perform as well as we might have thought last time in running. You'd have thought five out of five, it's bound to lead, therefore it's bound to door or it's going to trade a lot shorter. It didn't. So that has to be a little warning. I am still going to trade this horse personally myself today because, well, I'm going to look at a little bit more detail, but I'll be probably going for about 30% profit with this horse, somewhere on there for about a £200 stake. As you can see here, um, prominent pushed along, press leader, led, pushed along over two felons, made all, and prominent on the outer. The only thing that I want to know, I just, I will want to check, first of all, to make sure there is no other front runners in the race before I put my money on. Um, let's have a look. Ooh. We can see this one here, 48 to 1, so probably hampered start, headway, compact. No, not for me. I'll be going cross and getting rid of that one. 
27 to 1, again, not one that's in my price range that I like, as long as it doesn't lead close up slightly, chase leaders close up, chase leaders midfield, so probably wouldn't influence me at all that one so i would go and have a look see if there's any leaders um in the race in this race by going across to the races tab and oh, why not let's quickly show you quickly show you the races tab what race was it was it two o'clock it was two o'clock well done right so two o'clock what i do is go across to the races tab whoops and we would just quickly go down all these to make sure there is no other leader oh there is oh 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 See, this would, this would definitely, and we know by the colours, well, I know by the colours, um, I was going to say, it's a Johnson horse. It's not. <laughs> Never mind. Right, so this automatically puts me off. Um, so straight away, it's going to be, everything's got to be perfect. Why not wait for everything to be perfect? The idea of trading is that we wait to the perfect conditions. We can trade whenever we choose to trade. We don't have to trade every single race, every single day. We can change and we can trade in our optimum position. And straight away, we've got another front runner in the race. Or another horse that has been front runner. Race keenly. Track leaders. It's probably not enough. Let's see what the favourite does. So the favourite happens to be ours. Oh, ours is a favourite. Yeah, so some people might trade it, some people might not, but on this one, I'll be looking elsewhere for a trade today. So hopefully you get an idea about the software and how powerful it can be to quickly find in potential in-play trades for you. Okay, thanks for tuning in so much for my two-minute videos. It's been seven minutes nearly. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye.